Greetings, children of the screen. Your friendly neighborhood nerd scum here once again. And today I want to take just a minute to talk to you guys about Diseased Inkillables number one. Right on, guys. So we open up this book with seeing Deathstroke going on a job that he's been hired for. He's going to get paid $9 million to kill a bunch of Nazis who have been burning down churches. He's down with that, but when he gets there, he sees everybody is running from the building, and he starts cutting through them, wondering why no one's fighting back, before he realizes that they're not running from him. They're running from Nazi zombies. Um, at this point, basically, he realizes that things are screwed up, and the next thing he knows, it's like he's in the middle of a city, like, choking a dude out. From there, we see him go and try to get his daughter, things go amiss, Man Bat shows up, and in the midst of all of this, then Mirror Master shows up and offers them a deal from Vandal Savage to work for him and therefore live. At that point, we cut over to Red Hood, who is making his way back to the Bat Cave, where he finds the dead uh, Dick Grayson, uh, Tim Drake, and Bruce Wayne. Uh, he grabs Ace, he grabs a new stupid red coat, and he grabs the Batmobile, and he heads out. He finds Commissioner Gordon and Spoiler, who's dressed up as Batgirl again. Maybe that happened in a comic recently that I missed. And then from that point, they go to Bloodhaven. They find a group of survivors and hook up with them. So essentially, this book sets up Red Hood and his little team with Gordon and uh, Cassandra. And then it sets up Deathstroke with Rose, and then this new, like, Legion of Doom type thing that Vandal Savage has going with Solomon Grundy and Cheetah and Deadshot and the Creeper? So yeah, and that's kind of where this book leaves us off, is with the two different teams set and established with their own goals, and then as the series goes on, I imagine we'll follow them and see them converge. So the writing by Tom Taylor is pretty solid again. I mean, he did the first diseased book, and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, this one follows suit pretty well. However, there are a couple little things that I'm not feeling. Like, the idea that the reason that Deathstroke got bit but is not infected is because of his healing factor. However, in the previous book, we saw tons of characters who have much more advanced healing factors than Deathstroke uh, get turned and not be able to fight it off with their healing factor. So I kind of have a little problem with that. But literally, that is really the only thing in this book, in terms of the writing, necessarily, and... Again, like, uh, Cassandra Kane is Batwoman again. I'm not sure when that happened, but that's really the only issue that I've been having so far. And in terms of the artwork in the book, overall, it's pretty solid artwork. Um, there are a few characters that, again, um, I, I, I don't know why, uh, they put Jason Todd back in the red jacket. It looks dumb. Like, Jason Todd looks cool because of his outfit. At least he's not in the other Red Hood outfit with the stupid, like, Mortal Kombat mask. But I think it's because they're now transitioning him back into being Robin, as we saw in the original uh, diseased book that, like, Damien takes on the role of Batman. So I guess now Jason is the new Robin, and they give him a red coat? Sure, whatever. Uh, also with the artwork, whenever we depict Rose, her body type is very different and very, very, like, uber-masculine. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I, it was a choice I wasn't really crazy about. Um, beyond that, the coloring... And general design for the Creeper, when we meet up with, like, the new Legion of Doom, that was really weird. I don't know why he's green instead of yellow. Not sure what's up with that, but I definitely don't like it. Um, and then the other thing, and this is, the, like, probably the thing that, like, threw me the most because it's so early in the book, in the scene where Jason finds the Bat Family dead, Tim Drake is drawn in Damien's costume. Like, it's the wrong Robin. They put him in the wrong suit, and those suits are completely different, but it's very clearly the, like, League of Assassins-inspired Damien costume. So, yeah, that was weird. So, yeah, guys, I had a little bit of an issue with some of the writing elements and definitely had some issue with some of the art elements. However, overall, the book is still pretty cool. If you enjoyed the first one, you'll definitely enjoy this one. And if you're a big fan of Deathstroke and Red Hood like I am not, then you'll definitely enjoy this way more than I did because those are going to be our two key characters moving forward in this. All in all, I would say that while it is not 100% satisfactory for me, it is a good start to a worthy sequel to Deceased. So anyway, guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a like, share it with some friends, and if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you can check out all the dope content I'll have coming out in the future. Nerds come out!